Hey folks, welcome back to Honey Money SG. Now, if you are an early subscriber to this channel, you will remember that I actually did a carousel video last year talking about how to actually boost your sales in carousel. And you know, surprisingly, that video has been getting consistent views, even though I have not covered anything about e-commerce for this past year. So I think it's time to talk about it again because a lot of people actually have many ideas to go and make money but don't know how. So maybe I will share about my carousel business and maybe why have I ended it recently. I actually started out this carousel hustle since 2019. Initially, it was more of like clearing out my unwanted items. Remember, if you have like unwanted items that you want to sell off to a secondhand buyer, you can just clear your wardrobe, clear your toys, clear your gadgets that you may not want anymore. And because in the past, right, if you remember in the past, we used to sell away our mobile phones to like this handphone shop dealers and they gave a really crappy price. So I attempted to sell off my used phone, my old phone, and it fetched a much higher price in carousel because the middleman, which is the handphone or mobile shop, don't have to take a cut of it. So that is my first experience of using carousel as well as selling away my used textbooks during university. But in 2019, things got more serious because I see that there's actually an opportunity. If I can actually scale like the number of items that I sell on the platform, I could essentially make a profit between the buying price and the selling price. And this is what they call buy low, sell high, right? It's just retail arbitrage. But the thing about retail arbitrage is you fundamentally still have to sell at a lower price compared to retail stores because you are an individual and compared to shops, you have less reputation to talk about. You don't have like a business, a storefront where people can come and consult you on questions and stuff like that. So ultimately, in order to entice customers to buy from your carousel business, you have to price it much lower and attractive enough for the customers to look for your shop. And just in case you think I'm another e-commerce fake guru, right? I will just put out my carousel page publicly right here because you can see that I have over 300 five-star reviews over the span of two years because this is not my first account. This is actually my second account after my first account. I wanted to establish like a more niche presence within the carousel community. So you can see that I have been selling mobile tech and gadgets such as like Apple products, HomePod mini, AirPods Pro, mobile phones, iPhones, anything you name it, right? I'm kind of the go-to guy when you want to get good deals on your mobile phones, your tech gadgets and other things, electronics. So maybe you were a previous customer who has bought your mobile or tech gadgets from me. So I don't know if you are, thank you for your purchase and helping out this channel. And since I've ended the business, right? In this video, I'm going to share some of the secrets, the tips and tricks that you can use on your carousel business and what are the skills or talents that you actually need before you actually start this kind of e-commerce stuff. Okay, when we are talking about an e-commerce business and especially if it's a one-man show like myself, you actually have to run your whole store as a single business and that means you will be the sales and marketing department, you will be the operations, you will be the logistics, you will be the finance and you will be the customer service. You are essentially your own company. And that is why you will actually learn a variety of skills, starting from sales and marketing. For sales and marketing, I actually talked about it in my previous carousel video, how to actually boost your sales, boost visibility, learn about the carousel algorithm and how to actually put your products at the top of the pitch so that more potential customers can view the product and make the purchase successfully. Fundamentally, how carousel works is almost like a social media engagement. The more engagement you have with the customers, the more chats, the more likes, something like YouTube algorithm, Algorithm, then you can actually help to push your product higher to the top of the list so that more people can view it. Also, how you write your captions and descriptions is actually very important, right? Because people want to know what they are buying into. I've seen some other people listing on Carousel without any description, just telling about what the product is. No description, no status, no conditions, how to meet up, how to pay, all this stuff. Imagine like, if this product actually listed, but a lot of people actually ask you questions, you have to answer the same questions every day. You will have really little amount of time to do other stuff, right? So my tip is every time a customer asks you a question, it is probably a question asked by any other people as well. So you just have to answer the question and put it in your description, okay? Whatever question they ask, where do you meet up? Okay, I'm going to put my meetup location at my description so that people can look at it and don't ask me anymore. Of course, there will still be some people who don't read the description and ask you anyway, but those will be greatly reduced when you have explained it in your description or captions. Next up is the operations, how to actually get your product and inventory. Now, previously, I have been scouring over different e-commerce platforms like Q10, Lazada, and Shopee. So all these actually have seasonal deals like your 7-7, your 11-11. Those are the massive sales days where you actually have to take note 
and sometimes you have to stay up till midnight to grab the cheapest deals and use their vouchers use their coupons use their gift cards whatever so you have to be really well versed on this kind of e-commerce platforms because you need to secure the lowest price and most of the lowest price actually come through these seasonal deals so that is an art by itself because people actually have very little time to go and go through different platforms it's more suitable when you are a student and you don't have a full-time job or maybe this is something that you can do after your work hours okay just scouring the e-commerce site see what are good what is cheap that you can sell at a higher profit margin than what the e-commerce site is selling for and that will actually tie back up to one of my topics discussed on my channel which is credit cards what are the best credit cards to use for online spending in the past i used to use a few credit cards because a few of the credit cards actually give rewards or cashback on online spending like a dbs Refresh, your city rewards your dbs woman's world mastercard and that's when i actually get to learn more credit card knowledge on what is eligible spending or not so that actually helped me on getting my credit card knowledge for this channel I know you folks are tired of seeing Weibo apps because you are smart people. You all have gotten your free Apple shares and free Microsoft shares since the last few months. But you know there are still some people who are clueless and haven't got their free stocks from Weibo yet. So this month, Weibo is actually offering you $100 worth of Google shares once you have deposited $1,965 and make 6 buy trades. The other condition is that each buy trade has to be at least 100 USD and the condition is that you have to hold your $1,965 for at least 30 days until the stock voucher is credited. But you may ask why such a funny number $1,965? It is to signify Singapore's years of independence since 1965. Happy National Day and as a channel with SG in its name, very proud to be a Singaporean so I hope that this $100 worth of Google shares can make your day better. And that is so we can be stronger. Majula. So once you have purchased the inventory and it's delivered to your home, the next up is logistics. How are you going to deliver this product to your buyer after the sale? The most common form of delivery method is like through meetups, right? Cash on delivery. But those are really like traditional and it takes time because it requires both parties to be at the right time and at the right place. So if possible, always go for delivery. And for my shop, I always offer free delivery because I felt that there is so much convenience that you can use for delivery instead of really having two people to meet up at the same time and at the same place. Unless that person really drives to your location, then I always opt for delivery and prefer to deliver to customers for free then you will come a question what are the courier services to use for like instant delivery you can actually check out grab express they have quite a reliable service and actually grab express the network and the cost is quite competitive you know you can even like buy some vouchers to offset the cost but if you're talking like standard delivery like two to three work days right then i actually recommend q express q express will actually collect your parcels by the next day and deliver in the following day so really the turnaround time is around two to three work days which is really fast and they are one of the more reliable partners that i think are better than ninja van and gnt express so once you have your logistics settled you still have to look at finance and payments right how is your customer going to pay you I'm not talking about simple cash on delivery or pay now pay la transfers uh, because you have to be familiar with this thing called carousel protection. Last time it's called carol pay. So carousel actually have this kind of payment method for buyers to pay via credit card. But of course the credit card fees are charged to the buyer at around 2.5% credit card charges which I think is fair because if you pay via credit card you can get like cashback 5% or like miles 4 miles per dollar right. So it kind of offset the cost of credit card charges. But you as a seller have to be familiar with carousel protection as well because how are you going to cash out from the platform you have to actually verify with your sync pass i believe and strike payments very long never used already but it's quite fast actually you just have to link up your debit card to the payment processor i think it's stripe and i think once your buyer has clicked item receive the cash will be available in your carousel wallet within like one minute and you can just cash out immediately to your debit card so all these kind of payment process you have to learn along the way lah. no matter how much i share over here unless you do it yourself you won't really understand what i'm talking about so the last skill you actually need is customer service and customer service is one of the most important skill of carousel because trust me you will be dealing with a lot of unreasonable people and really asking stupid questions along the way even though you have written out all the answers in the description column sometimes you cannot accommodate the customer too much one you know because there are those who really just go there to have fun just to have a chat and go to carousel and make ridiculous requests like high balling and low balling people in fact from my experience the more a buyer actually asks you questions the less they are able to buy it because I realize that most of the customers who have closed a deal with me 
they don't ask much questions, you know. They have already researched on the product before they want to buy. And more of like asking me what are the payment terms and where to meet up and the logistics and stuff. So you don't have to always give in to your customer thinking that the customer is always right. This is carousel. This is e-commerce. Always be firm on what your shop believes in and not be a pushover because it will just be a waste of time and effort if the deal don't go through. Anyway, coming back to the story of why I actually stopped this business or ended this business of carousel. Um, firstly, it's because of time commitment. My carousel Carousel business actually grew a lot during COVID 2020 period because everyone was working from home, right? And it was easy to coordinate logistic matters. Like if they want to meet up at my place, that's fine. I'm at home. If I want to send delivery, it's easy. The courier can just pick up the next day since I'm at home. But now that we are slowly opening up the economy, and people are all working from office, it's much more difficult for buyers to actually come and meet you during the work days, during the mornings, and most of them have to meet like after work hours, or even if delivery, I'm not at home to actually be around. To let the courier in and pick up my parcel, right, it's not possible anymore because I'm no longer working from home. And this was why during the COVID pandemic period, there is a rise in e-commerce shipments, e-commerce transactions, because it was so convenient and we cannot get to meet other people because of the COVID restrictions. Now with the restrictions going away, it's going the reverse trend. You realize that a lot of e-commerce sales actually fell after the COVID measures have been relaxed. Also, the next fact is previously I was not doing YouTube, but now I'm putting more focus onto YouTube because YouTube is a more scalable and making more impact to more lives on this earth. Rather than buying low and selling high to a customer, which actually have not much impact, it's just helping them to buy the best deals, right? I feel that doing YouTube is more of a greater purpose compared to like retail arbitrage. And lastly, if you realize that all these e-commerce deals, they're savings are getting thinner and thinner. It's much more difficult to find good deals because a lot of people actually learn e-commerce and learn to shop themselves. Last time, actually not so popular e-commerce, but during the pandemic, people all look at their phones, uh, Shopee, 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 Lazada, Lazada, Q10. Uh, all very good in e-commerce shopping already. So really, this kind of business uh, is getting harder and harder to find a good profit margin that is worth your time and effort. So my strategy for e-commerce now is really to look more on the passive side. So I'll be posting my affiliate link Links, my referral links, all this on my YouTube channel, Telegram group, all this to generate traffic to the e-commerce site if you want to buy the items, right? In fact, one of my most profitable items is actually the Apple HomePod Mini because it's not sold in Singapore and I was one of the largest sellers in the platform. And because YouTube as a content creation platform is more scalable, I can actually reach out to a wider audience compared to Carousel. But who knows, right? I may actually set up a merchandise shop in future selling off my words just like all those other big YouTube creators. But nothing Nothing planned as of now. Let's just keep it in check. So if you want to learn of the best carousel tips and tricks to double your carousel sales revenue, then I refer to you to watch my very early carousel video. Bear in mind, it was very poorly edited and this was one year ago. With that, thank you for watching. My name is Christopher. This is Honey Money SG, steering young adults to financial independence.